right, now I'm 2024. This man nearly died a few days ago. I did. He's alive, and thankfully, because he is Mr. Robert Chaffemont. Listen, Andy, the only reason I agreed to do this interview <laughs> is because I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I agree when you're begging me to talk to you is because I love you. It's important when you go through experiences like I just did with, with my wife and my two friends, Luke and Jackie, when you think you've died and then they realize you haven't, it's important to just be like, if you love somebody, tell them. I fucking love you, man. I honestly, oh, gently, oh, it's good. Oh, I'm, I'm armpit height. The experience of being Ferris armpit height is, is a unique experience. <laughs> no, I really do. I appreciate you. He makes me laugh all the time. He's the guy that has the quip. He's the guy with the one-liners. But they're always perfectly timed and always unexpected too. <laughs> anyway, do you want to see some guitars? Not really. No. Not really, neither do I. Talk about how great I am. Okay. <laughs> I, I've seen some guitars already. Yeah. Because um, I was here and I didn't know where you were. I was actually like, where the hell? I was on the toilet. I was talking to John Connor. The other day, you were oh, right. being rolled around the, the street. Yeah, sorry. Um, I heard Luke and Joey, Joey play. Wow, that was at the beginning of this video. I wish you were here when Kerry, Kerry Marshall was here jamming with Chris Robertson. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've got some new, some new. Obviously, we've got some new Danish beats. Should I hold that? So you know, you... Might be, yeah, maybe. Um, but I like. Quite high to hold it. I like. It's easy. I like this one. What's this one? Oh. oh, this is the Guardian. So the Guardian is our brand new shape. This was collaboratively designed internally. So, I set an objective to Dave Hollingworth, our designer, and I said, "Listen, man, we want to make something new, something a bit different." I want an offset shape. You have free reign to come up with whatever you want. And he sent me and Lee seven or eight different sketches. And some of them were reminiscent of other things and some of them weren't. And we really wanted something different. And this is the one that we all settled for. It is genre agnostic. We've had people pick it up and go, oh, it's a great jazz guitar. We're like, is it? And then, and then like, yo, and it's Jan, absolutely shredding Marty Friedman on it. We're like, oh, that works. It's just a new kind of thing, and we're here for it. I've also got the first prototype, check this out. So this is number one. You can see where Dave has been carving all the bits with a little pen knife. Really? Yeah, just to get it kind of to the, to the carve we wanted. I was talking to Dan about it, he said you were at Emolta and you are all trying it out. Yeah, yeah, we, I took them to a farmhouse and we just sat around with tapas wines and just like, take the controls in different places. John Connor was like, best guitar you've ever made, you know? So this is how we do it. You know, we, we move things, try it. Is it ergonomic? Does it make sense? If it does, it sticks and it ends up on the actual production model. So this is the Guardian. We're proud of it. I dig it. I dig it. The Duggardist. The Duggardist. I like it. It's original, but as you said, Dave, Dave has come up with something that is, it is genre agnostic to say yeah. your term. We, um, We've named all of our guitars. I, I, I got fed up with the ML1, ML3, ML4. I didn't want to be like RGZX21FM. I wanted to be like the ghost fret. Right. So we've got the DPT, the Pegasus, the Guardian. Uh, our ML3 is now called the Lawmaker. Did not know that. Our ML2 is now called the Herald. So we have named them after call signs. And it just feels right for us to have names because they deserve a name. If you love something, it needs a name. It really smells of marijuana right here, right now. Not that I've ever had that, but I've been told that's what that particular scent is. Yeah, I mean, when I watched that movie that had it in, yeah. that's what I imagined it would smell like. Right, yeah. It, can I just say, if you were thinking of coming to Nam and you thought, no, it's, Nam is dead, my God, this is Nam how it was. This is 30% up from last year. It is absolutely rammed around us. Everyone wants to see Andy, so. This is the new DPT, which stands for Danish peat tea. Is he a tea drinker? Yeah, Danish peat, not the other DP. Uh, it's got nickel frets because he's- Oh, I get it. 
because he's a traditionalist. So nickel frets. Um, what Pete doesn't know is that you can drop it to drop A and play like Bamba Cow on it, which is what I was doing earlier. It was really quite fun. Sorry, Pete. Sorry, not sorry. TPT. I had a go on this. The neck, you've nailed it. It's nice, huh? I, I, I mean, it's I his love neck. It. La we laser copied his, his F type. Are you a fan of winged horses? Well, of all the horses that I'm a fan of, they're the best kinds. Then, then this isn't the Pegasus, but I've just been handed this Ghost Fret Classic. Hang on a minute. Eh, can you stop eating the salad and get the red one? <clears throat> I like that, but before we d dive into it, I actually wrote you on WhatsApp and said, what the F or something like that, when I saw this one, you like that one on too. Instagram. My God. So, sorry, but that's going to go back because we're going to talk about this one. That is one of my favorite looking guitars of the entire show. It's like a scene from a Michael Bay movie. With the sp it's like a Transformers the movie type sitch. It's just gorgeous, mate. I'm, oh, I love it. Full, full thickness neck. Yeah. How you doing? I need to, while I'm doing this interview, I'm going to hug this guy. I'll hold this and, and enjoy it. Wait, wait. Be careful. There's a bear with him, and I'm going to talk about this. I don't know what, it's a ghost Fred. It's a custom. It's a classic. And it is beautiful. I don't know if you're still watching, by the way. It's quite a long video, but I saw this on Instagram. And not because we're friends, but I wrote to Rob and said, that is absolutely amazing. You can't see it against my red shirt. That's better. I, I just think it's gorgeous. Sorry about that. That's all right. I was telling a joke. So this is the Ghost Fret Classic as a baked maple neck, stainless steel frets. Um, it's made of tree wood. It's a workhorse. Um, you know, it's got all of the tones. Dan hates it when I say guitars are a workhorse. So now when I say it, I look at him and say it. Made of tree wood. It's got a weight to it. Yeah, it's real. There's something in weight. You know, when you physically manifest wood into an instrument, it's going to have a mass. It's a lovely joint. Yes. Like the one earlier. I don't know about that. <clears throat> so, but this is beautiful. It's different from the previous iteration of Ghost Fret. This is way more classic tones. You can scream on it, but it's way more back down for the grind. Blackstone I, I Cherry. Say, a lot of companies, to be geeky for a moment, would shy away from that because it looks difficult to do. It's difficult to do. And you've, you've done a really good job. The reason for that is that we've been working with a factory that was developed over many years by Trevor Wilkinson. Legend. We have a new factory in Chennai, India. And they do immaculate, as you can see, work. Have you seen the binding <coughs> on the Chris? Check this out. <coughs> Look at that. Check out this headstock binding. The headstock binding. <coughs> <coughs> Look at that. Goodness gracious me. Yeah. That Sorry. is, uh, I mean, I, I'm not a woodworkist, but if I were, I'd be proud of that. Look at the F-hole. All right, that's the place normally where you get all the goo and the goop and the, and the nasty stuff you don't want. It's a testament to the, to the work that we can now manage. It's just immaculate, man. We, we have so many more options in design now, so I feel good about it. Could this be uh, a reason you now have worldwide distribution? Uh, that's really because we found a partner that shares similar uh, goals to us. Really lovely company, hundreds of years worth of experience. Actually, they, they manufacture harps, but they've been doing distribution for hundreds of years. They're Italian, but they're American. And uh, oh, I get it. they're really lovely. And I feel like I'm in safe hands. You know, I'm exactly six foot tall, just so that you know that, okay? Do you want to see another one? I do, yeah. This is one of my favorite. I think of all the, the, the shape, I think this might be my best looking one. It's lovely, huh? We get a lot of um, a lot of ladies looking at that one. Yeah, which is great. Then I shall hang out near this. We, we need more females in this industry, really. Uh, okay, so this is the Pegasus. Oh, that's like a horse with wings. Steel Panther. Michael Starr sticks a dinner. I love this guitar, or probably the most. Check this out. It's a five-way blade, but it's also a ten-way blade. 
I thought you broke it off then, Rob. Nope. Snap the knob. It's a 10 way three way blade. Well, because it gives you loads of options of which you will settle on three. Exactly, yeah. And they're really or, good. Or in my case, one. <laughs> but at least you're really sure it's the one. Yeah, it's, I, mean? I got 10 options. I haven't, I'm not even going to try five for the first year. I have a friend called Rabia. He brought out a guitar with us that was very popular. And with his blessing, we are continuing the model as a standard pro range model. That's great. This is the lawmaker. Because we make all of our guitars in India now, apart from the English stuff, we have locally sourced rosewood. So all of the necks are rosewood, including baritone version with a full rosewood neck. So yeah, Lawmaker Legacy and the Lawmaker Baritone. It's heavy. It's a prototype. I have a friend. Yeah. His name is Benji. Yeah. He has both of the Rabia models, as in the baritone and the, the other oh, one. Oh, cool. I would love to see what he thinks of these. Right. So Benji, what do you think of those? Well, I've been uh, Andy Ferris. And I've been Rob Chapman. Have a great, have a great time. Have a great Enjoy, time. Uh, music like and subscribe. Yes. Subscribe, you know, many like. of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. So it would really help this channel if you actually subscribe rather than watching from the, the bars. I've been Rob. Bye.